Hey guys, so this will be the, the final video of our beginning band instruments, uh, basic care and feeding, and the final one we're going to look at is the trombone. Uh, so we've done uh, trumpet, flute, clarinet, sax, and now trombone. Uh, most of the other instruments, uh, you know, by the time you've, you've stepped up into those, a lot of times you've already played a similar instrument, and a lot of that's the same. I'm thinking of baritone and tuba, think of a big trumpet. Uh, if you move up to berry sax, Think of just a great big alto like I showed you. The swab is a little different. There'll always be a few differences on those, but if you have any questions about maintenance on any of those instruments, just give us a call, drop by a store, uh, track me down in the van, and I'd be glad to help you out. So, let's get to the trombone. I'm standing up for this one, and I'm standing back a little ways because trombones are big and long. They're the most uh, clumsy of instruments. They stick out in the back, and they stick out in front. So uh, this was the way I thought maybe we could do it. So you've got two sections to the trombone. Uh, you've got the bell section, and so that, as it implies, has the bell. And then the receiver for the next section, which is the slide. So uh, on the slide here, uh, there's something really important I want to point out, and that is this piece. That's the slide lock, okay? So what that does is that prevents the slide from moving when it's engaged. Anytime you're not playing, uh, go ahead and just move that lock over. It just keeps, you know, accidents from happening like the slide coming all the way off and hitting the floor and getting a dent on it. So that's just kind of a general rule. Anytime uh, you're not playing, engage the slide lock. That brings us up to another tip. Uh, you know, you can on, on a lot of trombones, you can actually put that slide on upside down. So how do you know which is which? There's a couple different ways. Uh, the main one I use is on the one with the slide lock, you'll have this little piece here, and that's what engages with the slide lock. So obviously that needs to go on that same one there. So now that slide lock will engage. Now, uh, you can get that slide lock uh, so tightened in one direction that you can't get it undone. Just bring it to us, that's covered under your Easy Rent program, or take it to your director, they could probably help you out. So anyway, so we're gonna, I'm gonna lock that. Now I'm gonna unlock it, and what we need to do is we need to lubricate this slide. So uh, I'm gonna show for a basic slide oil. Uh, I like slide oil, this is personal preference. I like slide oil for beginners because uh, it's easy to use and it uh, doesn't chalk up sometimes like some of the creams can. So what I'm gonna do is this slide, this inner slide, the two pieces to the slide, the outer slide and the inner slide. This outer slide, if you look really carefully, it actually gets just a little bit bigger right here, okay? That's actually the only part that comes in contact with the rest of this. So we don't have to necessarily lubricate the entire slide since this is the only portion that comes in contact. So what I like to do is I'll find a spot to lay down the tip of the slide, the bow is what that's called. I'll lay that down, I'll pull that out till I just see maybe a couple inches of where that slide gets bigger. And we put some oil on there. Okay, moving around nice, that, that feels really good. So uh, that's, a, that's a good slide. So now I'm done lubing it. I'm gonna engage the lock. And then what we see here is we see the receiver, which that's that piece, and we see the part of the slide with this little sticky outy part. That's the technical term, right? Okay, we're gonna put that in there, just like so. And then you tighten the collar over the threads. Now you don't have to go super tight, you just need it to be barely snug. And as you hold the trombone like this, that slide will be in that type of an orientation. So uh, let's see if I can do that right. So if I have the bell uh, over my shoulder, then this mouthpiece part will be like right here. Speaking of the mouthpiece, that's our next part. That just inserts here. You might give it just a little twist and it'll stay in place. You don't want to pound it in or tap it or anything like that. It'll get stuck. If it gets stuck, take it to your director. Uh, most of them have a special tool that'll get that out. If they can't get it out, just bring it to us. Do not go get three friends to try and get it apart. And uh, don't put pliers on it or anything. It's a real simple fix. And again, covered with your yawn is easy rimmed. So that's actually it for assembly on, on the trombone. It's pretty simple. Once you're ready to play, you'll see I've, I've got the lock engaged, but I also tend to lock my pinky around there just in case I forgot that lock. That's just a habit of mine. Uh, unengage the lock or disengage the lock and you've got your trombone here. So.
Okay, I'm not a trombone player, obviously. So now I'm done playing. I'm going to engage the lock, pull my mouthpiece out. It should just take a little twist and a pull. Set that down. I'm going to unscrew the ferrule there. Give this a twist, it'll come out. And then here's on a weekly maintenance, I kind of like to recommend that weekly you pull out this inner slide and we're going to wipe that down just with a tissue and get any old oil and things like that on, off of there. Uh, and then some of your trombones will come with a cleaning rod and that's not a bad idea to use. Uh, so it's a long rod and uh, we put a piece of cloth in there about the size of a dollar bill. You don't want to go too big because you can get it stuck in there if that gets watered up. So about the size of a dollar bill, maybe a little bit smaller. And we're just going to put that in the slide and pull it back out. And that's going to pull out anything that's maybe gotten in there. Do that on both sides. Again, this is once a week. You don't uh, usually have to do this every single time you play. We're going to put the slide back in, and since I've dried it off now, I'm going to do that same thing where I'm going to oil it. Uh, so pull it out to where I can just see that increase in the size, a few drops of oil there, put it back in, work that oil around a little bit, engage the slide lock. That's it for the slide. On the uh, trombone body or bell, bell section, there's a tuning slide here. Now trombone tuning slides are just always sometimes kind of tough uh, to get in and out. This one's uh, of course greased up so it's nice. So what I do is I wipe that down. This is like a once a month thing. Wipe that down, wipe the old grease off. We'll use, uh, use our grease there. We'll put some of that on there, smear it around with our finger on both slides. And then we reinsert it. It'll only go one way. Those, those two slides are different sizes, so it'll only go one way. And on this one, this happens to be a Yamaha, the bigger one is actually longer, and that makes it a little easier to install. Uh, still, sometimes it takes just a little bit of finagling to get it going in there nice and smooth. So just wiggle it back and forth, and it'll come in and out. And that's it for the trombone. It's a really easy maintenance. Once a week, wipe off your fingerprints with a soft cloth, and I'll grab that. Wipe off your fingerprints with a soft cloth, and uh, you're done. Uh, trombone's a fairly easy maintenance uh, routine on them. So, anyway, that's it for the trombone. If you have any questions on this or any other instrument, uh, give us a call, 308-234-1970. That'll get you to all three locations uh, out here in western Nebraska, the Kearney store and the Grand Island store. Uh, or you can call me directly if you're in western Nebraska, northeast Colorado, 308-284-8384. Uh, as always, check us out on the web at yondasmusic.com and make sure to follow us on all that social media and hopefully I'll see you on the road soon.